In this next example, I'm going to show you how you can conditionally format dates to auto highlight or break custom days in a cell. So we've got a cell reference here 87 and we've entered the value 50. That's going to be custom days in terms of the date age. So what we want is any, we want to set up the conditional formatting so that anything that's over 50 days old is going to be highlighted. And then we can change the, the date age and then automatically, dynamically, the conditional formatting changes as we change the value in the, the custom days age. So to do that, what we do is we go into the cells, we highlight the cells where we want the conditional formatting to be applied. Same as before, we go into condition formatting, click on new rule, and as before, use a formula. And the form is going to be same as before. And so it's going to be the now function handling the current date minus the, the value in cell A2 containing the date. And this time, rather than it to be greater than a fixed number, we want it to be greater than a value in the cell reference. So we click on this button here and we choose a cell reference containing the, the dynamic age that we can enter. So this is cell 87. Click on the button again and for the formatting, if that condition is met, we want the fill to be brown and we want the color to be white, bold. And click on OK and click on OK. And as you can see, the dates that are over 50 days old are automatically highlighted. So this date here is 83, 27th of December 2023 is 83 days old. It's also over 50 days old. So that works. And we change this to say 20, 30 say. That's also going to pick up all those dates over 30 days old. Let's choose uh, a really old date. So 80 days old. So it's only going to choose those dates over 80 days old. So that's it. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next video.